Hello everyone. Good morning. Good morning. I am here. I'm right now. I am loading into my persistent town. You know, common ground world mode. Uh, just to sell some wine bottles. Probably sell some gold. <laughs> And then we'll have a competition starting up in 10 minutes. So how's everyone doing this morning? Martin, hello. Almost time, almost time. Calm me down, calm me down. Also, Martin, um, you're probably going to mention it right now. But yeah, I got to turn Windows updates. I got to pause them. Pause your Windows updates. Let me see. Uh, where is it? Windows updates. Check for updates. Pause for one week. There we go. Let's see, get some background music. Whoa, all the warehouses are cool. Okay, all right. This is this happens because I'm also making gold. I probably shouldn't make gold anymore. And yeah, I'll show you my town right here in just a moment. So let me start selling some of these things. I've gotten pretty far with this mode. Look at this. I have. Pretty much half the map cleared. I've cleared three of these super expensive tiles. I could do one more. In order to actually finish this wine bottle rush, I need to clear these two tiles. Then I can completely finish it off. So yeah, for the next couple minutes, just gonna be here until the competition is ready to begin. But yeah, hey, Apakari. Paul Raymond, hey Dub and Chat, standard reminders. There you go, somebody mentioned it. <laughs> Rachel, hi Dub, good luck everyone. Farmer's Commander, hello. B Rob, what's up? Andrew, hello. And good luck everyone, for sure. I didn't actually practice for this one. My plan is to do this right here. You can see. I'm gonna do this exact thing. I'll probably have it on this corner that well. Um, yeah, I'll have it next to the mountain. That's all I remember. I'll have it on the corner. It'll kind of look like this. And for the rest of the map, I do want to do sushi boats, but I'm going to have to figure out exactly what I'm going to need to do. Turn off casual mode. That's right. I've had casual mode turned off since last week. But um, good point. Anybody who had um, fast forward on and casual mode, make sure to turn it off. Oh, it's ask me for the password. If I look down, I'm also playing Champions Arena on my phone. Mostly, oh, I'm just doing the arena. Oh, but before the competition starts, I got to make sure to sell all my wine bottles here. And uh, turn this gold production off. Let me take these two off. Because I... <sighs> If I, if I want to progress with this, I'm going to have to go back to this every 12 hours, I want to say. Every 12 hours. That's how long it takes for all these warehouses to fill up. And then so all my wine bottles. If I make gold and wine bottles, it gets full in like 6 or 8 hours. It's, it's just too soon. I only want to check this like twice a day right now. What am I looking for? Um... I want to put a tree and that shit ain't. I guess just so I can make some wood. And let's see. Oh, uh, it's not actually going to get to 300 gold. Okay. I'll just, I'll sell off the excess gold in a bit. Tupuka, hello, never give up, hello, herps, hi, good luck today, going for sushi boats, it's gonna be a, a mix between wine bottles and sushi boats, so like a third of the map, like this right here, is gonna be sushi boat, I mean, <laughs> it's gonna be wine bottles, and then the rest of it is gonna be sushi boats, I am gonna need to make nukes, probably gonna do platform fishing, I didn't practice the sushi boat layout, so... I'm just gonna have to like balance it out as I go. Are people keeping up with this, you know, this mode? I mean, right now there's not really any reason to, to be honest. But who knows, just in case they have missions on this fairly soon. I, I think it'll take a while before they do that, to be honest, but might as well. 
Never gave up. Long time no see. It, it feels that way, huh? <laughs> Carp Dam Project. Hello. We go win Gala for 1200 rank this time. Yeah, uh, top 1200 will win Gala. I know last week they had the... The competition got cancelled last week, but they still had it in the game. Which I'm sure confused people. Like, they put out these announcements, these announcements, but not everybody actually sees them. That's the problem. Sushi and wine, what a lovely town to live in, exactly. Well, it's wine bottles. They don't actually have wine in them. If I were to actually go and do wine, like sangria, I would actually get less points. Because, uh, the wineries just take so long to make the wine, so you need a bunch of wineries. I would like to see another wine meta, though. Okay, the rest I just had to sell with the dragon. Yeah, so as some people have mentioned, great peers on this mode help out because you don't want to spend half an hour here trying to sell everything. Like, I still have my dragon so I can sell in batches of 25, but... I try to sell in batches of 100 as many times as I can. And I have almost enough money to clear two tiles. This tree is going to be expensive. What I could do is clear the tree and make a paved road. But I'll just do that later. I don't need to do that right now. I, I got to the point where I can clear one tile every day. Until I one day get to the point where I have to... It'll take me like a week to clear one tile once I get to these. And that's with all my NFTs, all my advantages, so I can't imagine how it's going to be with without all that. Happy Town Star Tuesday and best of luck to all, says JMR Leroy, and hello! Bukhari, I think I'm going to do decorated cakes. I don't want to do a 13 hour boat today. I also don't want to spend like too much time trying to figure it out. But I'm going to see what I can figure out. You know, worst case scenario, this whole setup with the wine bottles gets me the same amount of stars as 90 sushi boats does, which is not bad. I know some people are doing like 150 or 200 per hour even with a couple NFTs, but it's going to take a while to actually finish that. So I, I'm actually not trying that hard, I would say, for this upcoming competition. I'm just going to leave all these here. Yeah, I'm not going to make any more gold. They're just going to sit around. Fine. Yeah, I sold... Yeah, I sold everything I was going to sell. And I'll clear these later. Okay, uh, I'm gonna refresh it because I, that doesn't go back to the menu, right? Yeah, it just doesn't go back to the menu. Okay, let me pause this so y'all don't see a bright flash of white. Okay. I'm okay. I think I'll go for supply boxes this time as the previous time I had to the tomato paste? What? Tomato paste? That's a unique idea. I don't know how competitive that is. Also, supply boxes is a unique idea as well, actually. I don't think I've heard anybody ever do that. Ali, hi! Martin, I still find it very confusing. Michelle j also just said Common Ground competition is starting, but my point is Slow Town is called Common Ground, so... The entire game is called Common Ground World, so technically she's correct. It starts in two minutes right here. Technically, I, I, I uh, somewhat understand why people are getting confused. The game is now called Common Ground World. It's true. There is a mode also called Common Ground, which we're referring to Common Ground mode. But it's not the same as the competitions that are going on. The competitions are still the same. The same as they've been the past couple weeks, or really the past couple months. The past two years, you know. Bukhari, I'm busy playing Champions Arena while I do... <laughs> my... <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to do that too. But, you know, I have it on the auto. 
Although I win m more than 50% of the fights just because how strong my team is right now. Uh, this past week, I've, I've been grinding out Champions Arena. Uh, leveling up my champions and getting all the resources I need to level them up, basically. I don't think they'll ever do a competition with the, the slow mode that happens in common ground mode. So the competition starts in just a minute. Ali is still Town Star in OpenSea. You're right. It's still Town Star in a lot of places. It's going to take a while for them to truly rebrand everything. I know they posted... Gala Games posted like a short on their YouTube channel and they still called it Town Star. I don't know if that was on purpose or on accident. I would imagine it was on purpose though. Martin and in the slow town, compost helps a lot. Just saying, trees go faster. I haven't tried using it. I don't actually know if it'll do anything for my trees. I might have to test that out. So competition has started. Jefferson Silva, hi, say hello from Brazil. Hello, Jefferson. Shout out to Brazil. Nice to see you here, and we're getting started with this. Like I said, my goal is going to be to do a full wine bottle rush for money and for stars, and then the rest of it do sushi boats. Uh, let me try to remember. You know, I had a layout here. Oh, actually, it's on my phone, but um, I kind of already know how to do this by memory. So I want to have... I'm gonna have the ocean. I forget that the biome switched up here. So I'm gonna have fishing platforms next to the river and the ocean. So the mounts inside over here, basically. Yeah, I'll have the wine bottle rush over here. Let's see, hopefully I remember to do this correctly. Let me just start off by putting my silica stand. Competition starting with a lot of dead ground would be interesting as long as it was more normal speed. I suppose so really like I guess it would be okay as long as it's normal speed. Okay, it actually goes here. That's what I thought. Better I have these set up now so I don't mess it up later. Okay. Make sure to place down the Mayhem Oopsie so you get more cash. I heard it's been kind of bugged on the common ground mode. I don't think it's bugged in casual or competition. It shouldn't be. Or maybe... I don't know. Anybody who has played the common ground mode, do you ever get issues when you're trying to clear some of the dead ground? Like, does it cost more money than it's supposed to? I'm gonna have to sell gold first. I can't really do this first. If I sell gold first, I can make more money. So let me get that started. Let me put my skin. I'll put all the ghost cards in a moment. The gold ore storage. Probably the best storage in FC out there. Alright, while well, I'm working on all this, there are... I started some community giveaways. These are giveaways sponsored by the community. So shout out to Dream, Bukari, and CJ Gamer. They have given me three different ghost cards that I'm going to give away to the community. I already started those giveaways. They're going to last three days. 
you can find them on the discord server and if you haven't joined there's a link in the description of the stream or any of my videos really and it's just going to pick one winner for each of the nft giveaways that are going on the winners are going to be announced you know before this competition ends just a couple minutes before it's a, it lasts exactly three days from when i started the giveaway now i did reach 3,000 subscribers so thank you very much to everyone for helping support me subscribing to the channel just watching and engaging with the channel i am planning to do some giveaways to celebrate although i am gonna hold off until the end of the month kind of like mix it in with halloween you know some halloween and some 3,000 subscriber giveaway special or something because <laughs> um then i can decide if i'm either gonna give away some of what I think are the best NFTs, like, um, Great Sawmills, Hatch and Hank Juniors, maybe another Green Forge, or if there's going to be some new NFTs that are, like, Halloween related that may also be good. So yeah, I'm just going to wait until then. But don't think I've forgotten. I haven't really mentioned it yet, but, uh, yeah, that's the plan for that. Let's see, I need to put in my Mama Penner and Goldie. Oh, I'll put I'll put in the whole family in a moment. I need to have somebody build the gold ore panning site. Do about five of them. And in one of these corners, I'll have the dragon. I am gonna have to make a gas setup to actually sell all these wine bottles so that is the plan with that and uh ring there with the rings hey sell times one minute i think yep yeah i can sell a uh, a stack of gasoline, that's right. Yeah, I don't need all this stuff. I'm gonna need Hatchet Hank to collect some wood. Need that, don't need that. Okay, are they making... No, they're not making yet. Oh, one of them is. Okay, now they're making gold. Uh, I don't need, yeah, I don't need the oil seep, right? Because they added the haunted NFTs back finally? Yes, they did. Just making sure. Oil seep. Okay. You know, I guess I could already... No, I need to make lumber and energy. That's right. Before I do the wine bottle stuff, I need lumber and energy. So let me just set that up before I clear everything out. I need roads. Oh, we didn't place it. <laughs> I went too fast that it didn't place that uh, sawmill NFC. No, what? I had to refresh the game. Yeah. I don't know. The sawmill NFT bugged up right there. Ah, oh, brother. Went too fast that it broke the game. I'm sure I'm going to have to move all this stuff later. Okay, let me refresh. Uh, make sure there's no blinding white screen. Okay. All right. 
Bulgaria competition. Oh yeah. Rachel, oopsie. B Rob. It's always that way if you have ornaments in every mode, the cash is jacked up. In every mode? I don't think that's maybe that has happened before, but I don't think that was like a persistent issue. Martin, yes, clearing the ground does not go without refresh and then see what you really spend. That's true. There's an issue, but I don't think it's always been that way. Okay, what are we working with? Oh, I did place it. So I can make lumber and energy now. Start working with this stuff right here. I should probably make the warehouse first. Yeah. I'm going to turn auto sell and update town offline on and I'm going to auto sell gold with my dragon. I'm making energy, I'm making lumber. I'm going to need more trees. And then after that, I just clear out all the scrubs and the uh, the Pastures. That's yeah, that's probably plenty of trees. Go on, what's up? Does the composting facility works right now? Can we apply it to tree farm? Yeah, it does work. I haven't tried using it, but it does work. That's one thing I did want to test out. Let's see. Well, let me turn everything on. Hold on. I'll put on three juniors. Go to my ghost cards. It's everywhere. At this point, I might as well like apply just about everything. <laughs> Uh, I, I really don't want to apply everything though. Let's see, what's going to be relevant? Oh yeah, the bulky storehouse. Shrimp farms. Mixing tents. Sauce facility. I'll apply that, but I don't think I need that. Yeah, the mine. That's... I guess my gusty wind, why not? I don't even need it. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, with my hatchet hang, my three juniors, and my tree ghost card, I can get the tree farms to six seconds. Does the compost facility actually do anything? Okay, it needs to be one of these trees. It does actually, yeah. The compost facility made my trees go from 6 seconds down to 5 seconds. So it actually does do something. It's a 10% craft time reduction. Which when you do the math, you're actually losing space because... You're taking up a whole spot to put this in. It's not going to help you out more than it sh like it should. <laughs> I mean, you could just have another tree farm here, assuming you have the water for it. And it would help out more. But that's just the, the, that's the thing. It's level one. You'll be able to upgrade it once it's max level. It'll actually be more useful. All right. So with that set up, I'll go ahead and clear everything. 
Roberto Big Nasca, hello. Is there a build for this competition in your Discord? Yeah, I did post the build showcase last week. Uh, that competition got pretty much delayed to this week, so this this is the competition for that one. I did post the build showcase for sushi boats doing 110 per hour. Not the best, but not bad. I'm sure it's still going to be competitive enough. Depending on how many players, it might even be top 600. Who knows? It just depends. I know there's um, some players that actually practice the whole week, so I'm sure they got some good numbers. And that's 110 without any NFTs. And it'll work for this whole biome setup. Although I in the video I actually explain how to improve it even more since it's not perfect. There's more adjustments that I would make. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Like in Townstar, Townstar, Common Ground World, you know, same thing. What's up, Lycan? How are you doing? Hopefully you're doing well. I'm assuming you're gonna live stream this. I don't know. <laughs> At this point, I'm not sure. Martin writes uh, layout of compost in slow town makes wood faster. Yeah, I guess, but you're so better off having another tree farm. Lycan is in class right now. I never asked you, Lycan, but I think you are um, a, you know, a professor or a teacher somewhere. I mean, I've seen I've seen the classroom. That's like a college level classroom, as far as I can tell. Roberto just found it. Awesome. Yeah, I'm in campus right now, but I'll be home within an hour or so. Oh, okay. Cool. I'm doing well. I didn't practice for this competition, so I'm just gonna wing it, but for me it's not that big of an issue because I can just do wine bottles. You know, you know, like and I have a bunch of powerful NFTs. But if I were to have actually practiced, I probably could have gotten top 100. I don't even know, I don't even think I'm gonna get top 100 this time. Uh, last, yeah, last time I got rank 103, I guess, so I didn't make it to top 100. Which, they haven't paid out the reward for that one. They've been behind. Two minutes of wood in slow town. I think it takes longer than that, Martin. It it takes me longer, and I have a, a lot of NFTs to help out with the wood production. Like in, yeah, I'm teaching for the college I graduated from. Oh, that's cool. Uploading video on the competition. Do you think a dollar is worth people, worth people's time? No, but to be honest, most games are really worth people's time if they're not actually enjoying it. Uh, like, recently I've been playing some old games on my sister's Nintendo Switch because uh, I went over and she has Nintendo Switch and apparently you can play old games on there. So I've been playing some classic games like Metroid Prime. And I don't earn any money from playing that, but it's fun. That's why I play it. <laughs> um, Townstar to me... Town Star Common Ground World, you know, doesn't matter. To me, it's still fun, but and and the game has potential, but it's gonna take some time for that to actually happen, because <laughs> the team seems to be working at a snail's pace. But I think it can be done. Who knows? Maybe I'm just drinking the Kool Aid, as some people say, but. I'm not here like shilling the game or anything. I'm just saying I like it. But if you don't actually enjoy playing the game, then is it really worth your time? Probably not. I I don't think I would do this if for just a dollar if I wasn't actually enjoying the game. Let's see, so I cleared everything. I should get started on those glass factories now that I have money. So I'm gonna make two of them right here. I'll go ahead and. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do these two. I gotta work out all the roads in a bit. Do 
to Buga, if you really enjoy the game, then it's worth it. Yeah, uh, you could say the same thing for any game, like even Champions Arena. Martin, it's funny, watch like in videos how Gala team is doing. Now fits what he said. <laughs> it's a mess, sorry to say. <laughs> yeah. Gala behind, I'm shocked. <laughs> Crystal, hello. Well, I get that. I mean, Web3 is ROA, so my point asking someone to stress over $1, the way things are. Yeah, you probably shouldn't stress over a dollar. I know you aren't. I love the game also, but most of the people who play are playing for ROI. Yeah, but you, you're right. Most people who are playing are playing for ROI. And like, because they don't have daily earnings, there's actually a lot of people who aren't willing to come back to this game until they they provide the daily earnings. You know, those challenges that give us town points or whatever they're going to be called. Dirt points, maybe. And we'll be able to earn gala from that. You know, there's a, I think, I do believe there's a, a good amount of people waiting for that. I'm not talking about thousands, maybe a thousand, but not like several thousands. I don't think so. But there's some people waiting for that. Okay, so I gotta wait for those two to build. I should put down my crane bots. You know, that would help out. And make a bunch of builders, like always. Put down two grain bots and I'll make like 20 builders. You see, like in some people enjoy this game so much that they they practice all week, and that's totally cool. I've done that before as well. I didn't do it that for this competition, just because it's so similar to the last one. Um, it it's fishing. The last time everyone did Simon Nigiri, now we're either doing salmon nigiri or sushi boats sushi boats are technically better this time so it's like very very similar the biome is almost exactly the same i know they changed it up a bit uh people aren't that motivated for this one because there's no nft reward and because of the delay that happened last week so yeah i feel like this competition not as many people are motivated to do it uh, so i'm also not trying that hard i don't even have that much of an advantage when it comes to this fishing meta. So that's another thing. Dubuka, I will play more often when they add play to earn on. Then I play more also on casual. Yeah, and I think a lot of people, well, not a lot, but more people will play once daily play and earn comes back. I, I don't think that's like a good point though, because once daily play and earn comes back, the earnings will probably be worse short term and I don't think people understand why that's the case and the reason that's going to happen is because the um, the new emissions model it's going to be similar to Champions Arena I know some people don't play Champions Arena but they're only going to give back a certain percentage of what the revenue is we don't know the numbers right now that'll all come with the new updated light paper that they're going to release who knows when any week now like and what is the leaderboard showing for towns well like in the competition started 20 minutes ago so that's this you're not gonna get a clear number i don't even check the leaderboard this early right now it's showing 900 and you know some of these people log in and they don't ever actually do anything because they don't know how to actually play the game they log in and they see it and they're like, ah, uh, nah, I'm not interested in learning this. So that, that's just how it is. And the problem why that happens sometimes is because there's no proper first time user experience or tutorial in the game. It's, it's something they say they're working on. And I do think it's very important. They've actually been talking about that for weeks. Let me put in some roads real quick figure out my road structure here okay I can oh one more. I can work with that these can be paved okay Move my style in.
Yeah, it's probably too many builders, but whatever. <laughs> Main focus right now is just to do the wine bottle rush, and then I'll figure I'll figure out everything else later. I know I'm gonna need to make new, so I'm gonna need to make iron sooner than later. We can do that. Yeah, I can do that right here actually. Yeah, that works out just fine. So I need a pay road and then uh, iron mine. And I'll just make another warehouse. Actually, there, there'll be a warehouse over here. They can just walk that route. Yeah. That's lower than any other competition start before. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I don't usually check it when the competition starts up this early. Tapuka705 is first who had only one sale. Yeah, so only 700 people have actually sold something. Roberto, after can you show us how it, uh, how is going in the common ground mode? Just curious. Oh yeah, I joked about clearing the whole thing in a week. I showed it at the beginning of the stream for just a couple minutes. I was selling some stuff there. I have ha about half the map cleared, but to be honest, it's going to take months to actually clear the whole thing. Because those last tiles uh, at 175 mil each, or I think 250 mil without... Yeah, I think it is 250 mil. Uh, that'll take months to actually do. So I got to the point where it's you, you can clear like one every day and then it'll take a week just to clear one. And that's with all my NFTs. Go ahead and turn these on. And I will build out two more. Oh, actually, three more. I need water drums and energy. That's right. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and just make the warehouse here. Just so they don't have to walk long distance. Okay, um, it's a decent start. Making gold, I'm about to make wine bottles. Alright. Martin, with no new NFT to sell. Where does the money come from when we earn? They said that's the reward we get. Playing what's next. Yeah, right now, pretty much all the money just comes from the new NFTs that they sell. And they didn't sell any... Well, I guess they sold the... Uh, the common ground, the compost facility and the academy for like $10. But uh, that, that's not a whole lot of money. Uh, so right now, there's not a whole lot of ways for the company, the team to make money. They're, they would have to add more ways. Microtransactions, you know, gems, temporary buffs, stuff like that. Stuff that I don't know how much progress they've had actually finishing up yet, but they would need to add those things. And... On one hand, it sucks. I know people don't like paying for stuff, but that's how these uh, free-to-play games actually make money. Is through It's the freemium model. Play a game for free, but if you actually want to progress or be better at the game, you would have to spend money. That's how these games are. That is the problem with free. Free games actually make money still. They have to. Martin, I uh, played it, but uh, it's not to get the blueprint storage NFC. Oh, the uh, storehouse one. Ugh, that one's really good. Yeah, the quick builder is pretty good. Just like the crane. Uh, the quick builder is special just because it doesn't cast any shade. Roberto doesn't fully agree with what Lycan said about everything taking forever. <laughs> uh, it's a completely different way to play the game, he says. Yeah, it is a completely different way to play the game. Similar to older games that take for a long time to actually progress, like Farmville, I guess Cityville, you know, games like that. Um, but yeah, yeah, Tabuka just said it. it's more like Farmville. That's true. 
in Farmville, there was more stuff to do. So I, I think they have like the starts, but they're gonna need to add more stuff into the common ground mode for it to actually be more enjoyable. I feel like it is missing more stuff. It, there needs to be more stuff there. More social aspects, ways to trade stuff, uh, unlock special buildings with materials that you earn and that you can trade with other people, these materials. Martin, two teachers in the room, one official and one streaming. <laughs> okay. Like in this crazy, they like made close to a billion, if not more on this game but yeah jet fuel is expensive you know i have no idea if they made a billion to be honest it's probably not true at all but i i didn't do my research on that like and so i'm not over here gonna be i'm not gonna say like oh that's a lie that's true i have no idea they made millions for sure back with the uh with the bull market uh, i just don't know how much Me, let me go ahead and add these two. Oh well, actually, I need to. I need to make one here. Done. Yeah, I'll do those two first. Add wine bottles to auto sell. There we go. Make more money. I'm not gonna increase the gold production. I'm just gonna leave it like that. Uh, I was gonna add all my penners. I guess I could do that. Roberto, maybe they can try to introduce skins to avoid Baytown with microtransactions. I mean, the, we have Miranda skins, we have the pink skins. Do you think people are actually going to pay for something without utility? Like, that, that's the thing. I don't think people are going to pay for something that doesn't have utility right now. It, it, we, we are not to that point. Like, yeah, like in games like Farmville, people actually did pay for, you know, uh, limited edition custom looking animals and buildings. But with with this game, Common Ground World, people want utility whenever they purchase something. That's that's just how it is right now. I'll just look for the family. It's faster. Uh, having the whole family helps me get gold faster. That's why. I can I'd rather have an ad running in game than play to win. Either way, I think it would still be, uh, as you say, uh, play to win. Um, or maybe you, you meant to say pay to win. I'm not sure. Uh, I, I hate ads in games, to be honest. Um, <laughs> Uh, everybody has their own opinion. I get it. I hate ads on games. I would rather pay $20 to get rid of ads on a game that I actually enjoy playing. Um, if this game or any of the other galley games had ads, I probably wouldn't play them. But that's just me. I just don't like seeing ads on games. Usually the, the games have a way to, um, you know, buy some kind of membership or a way to not have ads. Like in upper nine figures, if you count all open sea transaction money. Ethereum steel node sales. Yeah. Uh like in how are you doing wine again? It's wine bottles. What how am I doing it again? Uh, I have these three NFTs, the corrupted, silica, chromium, and lime sand. Mao made a sale with uh the corrupted packs that came out in March. I think those were a terrible idea despite me having the actual corrupted stands. I didn't like that sale. Um, but I got in a fortunate position to acquire all three. One I did get from the packs, and the other two I traded NFTs in order to get them. So that's why I have all three. This lets me do what what we call the wine bottle rush. Because we have passive silica, passive limestone, and passive chromium. Probably one of the most expensive setups. But also one of the most powerful ones. There, oh. Is 
this is i guess you could call this one of the play to win cheat codes but there's a lot of them out there you know you got people using beacons of lights and uh those new windmills the bright winds that don't cast any shade and crap stuff super quickly I hate ads too, yeah. <laughs> you did mean pay to win, okay, I thought so. Uh, Blue Stacks has it, their launchers, so that would work. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I remember that because I used Blue Stacks to play uh, Eternal Paradox back when the playtest happened. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I think you're right, that would open up uh, a way to pay to not have them. Yeah, that also. That's what it was, a corrupted stance. Yep. Yep, yep. There's other ones too. It's just that these three, in my opinion, are like the best ones. The other ones are very situational. You're not going to use them all the time. Yeah, I got to build that. And then I can build the ones over here. And I can add another warehouse here. Yep. In the meantime, I'm making lumber, energy. I'm, I'm going to need more lumber. I can already start making iron. Yeah, I, I need to make more lumber. I'm just not exactly sure how I'm going to do that yet. No, I, I have an idea. I can do this. I have two aquifers, so I guess I could just place another one down. Yeah, that's fine. Just until I get all this done, and then I'll figure out what else I'm going to do later. 15k for Beacon of Light is insane. Is that really how much it costs right now? Because they were selling for 5k. I can't imagine them costing much more than 5k right now. Just with the, the, the price of all the NFTs right now, I don't think they should be that, that crazy. I know there's only like 20 beacon of lights, like that's why they're so special, but 15k, that seems like too much. Maybe the whales don't want to sell that NFT. Grading is done, I'm out, peace, good luck, Dub. Uh, thank you, appreciate that. And good luck to you as well if you participate, like, in. <laughs> and catch you later. And now I can make a warehouse here. And styling. I think we still need like a favorites tab or uh, hotkeys for our most used NFTs. Maybe that's just the me problem. I I'm not sure. But, you know, you we can have hotkeys for your favorite store buildings as well. Like maybe somebody likes to buy tree farms a lot and they want to assign it to the number one key. And every time they press one, there's like a tree farm ready to place down, you know? That would be nice. Homeboy Gaming, what's up? Hey Dub, good day, good luck. Thank you. Good luck to you as well, homeboy. You're probably, you're probably more prepared than me, to be honest. I don't know how much you practice or if you have a design ready. Because I, I really don't even have a design. I'm not looking at a visualizer for this one. Uh, I pretty much memorized my wine bottle rush setup. And then I want to do sushi boats for the rest of this. I just don't know how much of every building I'm going to need. We'll figure that out uh, live on stream right here. Not sure how long it'll take. So not sure if I'll actually finish everything. But you know, I'll give it a shot. Ali yesterday I saw was 15k and only 19 of them in game. Is there actually a 19? There should be 20. Unless one of them just got lost somehow. Quasher NFTs organized by genre would also be nice. Yeah, like some way, like I have it organized on the playbook. Like they should have it organized like that on here. Or, you know, just have it like it used to be. <laughs> it's all scrambled now. And yeah, hockey for buildings would be amazing. Yeah, uh, uh, hockey you can, you can assign to anything really. For your favorite building, for your favorite NFT. I think that would work just fine. Homeboy Gaming, fishing is my strongest meta. I need to be better here. Looking for around 333, 40-hour boats. That's awesome. I heard the top players are making, yeah, pretty much 300 to 400 per hour. 
so that's insane i'm obviously not going to be doing that much because like a third of my build is going to be wine bottles but i did the math my wine bottle rush full setup uh 2900 wine bottles per hour that gives me about the same amount of stars as 90 sushi belt so that's not bad uh fishing is my weakest meta i don't have the seaweed stand and that's like the most essential one for these fishing metas other ones that would help would be the advanced platforms and the aquaculturist houses especially the aquaculturist apartments i think that's what they're called but i don't have any of those so i'll just roll with what i have yeah right here at this point i would say these corrupted cents probably have paid off you know probably not like in terms of profit or anything but in terms of me using them i use them a lot i will continue to use them a lot so i think it was worthwhile for me to get all three although it wouldn't have ever happened if i didn't get the limestone one from the five packs that i opened i'm very thankful that that happened because if that wouldn't have happened, I would have never bought these other two. Well, I say bought, but traded for these other two. Free Rob, it says 19 owners, so maybe someone has to. Oh, that's that probably makes sense. Oh. Fubuka, how do you think of those haunted oil seeps? Which is best? I save money to them. I've been watching Haunted West Wing and Haunted Porch. They are probably still one of the best NFTs. They're still in my top five. Even though I don't use it that often, I am going to use it for this one because I have to make gasoline. If I were to pick the best one, I would say it's the porch. I don't exactly know how much it costs right now, but I assure you it's much cheaper than what it used to be. Uh, any of the wings will work just fine just because they give two passive fruit oil. The, the better thing about the porch is that it also gives pumpkins so it can help you with any meta that also requires pumpkins. Like the Halloween ones coming up will supposedly require pumpkins. Maybe we'll make jack lanterns. And what what else was it? It it gives you more points, the town points, which I'm pretty sure they're not gonna be called town points anymore. They'll probably be called brown points or something. They're building. Martin waiting for the pond that the oil sea first school drill set up and when enough money total rebuild sushi belts cool I'm assuming you're gonna leave it overnight to uh, make enough money Seems to be doing pretty good. I need more wood and more lumber, of course. 15 iron. Oh, I built this, but I, I never actually had to make lumber. I have the trees. I think I just need more lumberjacks. I think that's what it is. Is this how I want my road structure? Let me see. I'll have... Fishing, wild net fishing here. I have some, a nuke, and some buildings. Yep. 
Yeah, I, uh... Yeah, I'll leave the road structure like this. I have one long road here. And lumberjacks. Whoops. Wrong one. I need more lumberjacks gathering wood. I think the issue is that they have to walk really far just to get over here. Dang. I keep placing the roads in the wrong spots. I need to collect oak wood later. So yeah, not now. I'll, I'll collect it later. Just keep collecting wood now. Yeah, something like that. All right. So you say that the porch is the best. I also think the uh, pumpkin idea might be very useful. Yeah, I think so. I would say haunted porch is the best. Jukesies, hello, good luck dub, and to everyone else. Also, congrats on 3k subscribers. Thank you so much, Jukesies. Appreciate that. Turn these on. I'm like half done with this now with the uh, wine bottles Oops. I need to do the uh, rest of the roads for this to get rid of that I think that's it. Okay. I either need uh, to make two nukes or three nukes. 
like I said, I'm not exactly sure. Just to be safe, I'm gonna try to get the uh, steel I need for three nukes. Meadow is so much better than forest. Oh yeah, you got so much more space to work with. Martin, you and Mao and Grumpy show uh, much of how it works. It took me a long time. I see more and more. Maybe this calm time is great to learn. So when I'm busy, I can build better. Awesome. Grump, who, which Grumpy are you referring to? I think I remember Grumpy G. I don't think I've seen him on the chat much though. Are you really doing hybrid bottle and boat? That's the plan, Juxies. This time I'm actually trying to do a hybrid of bottles and boats. Uh, for the last competition, the original plan was to do wine bottles and salmon nigiri, but halfway through I realized that I cannot compete with the amount of points that salmon nigiri gives, so I ended up doing a full salmon nigiri build. However, as you may already know, the stars changed for salmon nigiri and for sushi builds, they actually went down. And I did the math again, and it turns out that if I actually do the full wine bottle rush, the full wine bottle setup, I get about, I get enough stars equal to 90 sushi belts per hour, so it's worth it because I, I need to do it for the cash anyways. So so yeah, I think I think it's worth it. I don't have a seaweed stand, so this this ends up being worth it. If I had a seaweed stand, I would be better off doing full sushi boats. So yeah, this time I will actually do a hybrid. Rugal BC, hello, happy dirt farming, <laughs> yeah. I might go for blue steel just for fun, for sure. And you probably still get top 1200, even with just blue steel. Just depends on how many people are, you know, actually trying. How many iron do I need? Um, I have the styling right, so 8 iron per steel. Oh, I need like 130 iron. I'm not even close yet. Okay. Need to make the uh, steel mill. I'll get this to third. Well, no, nah, I'll stop making iron. I don't want it to get full either. I can just make the steel mill here. It'll have to pick up energy, but that's fine. So that means I gotta pave this road. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna stop making iron for now. Still need lumber. Warehouse and warehouse is up here. Okay, should still be good. I did make top 200 during the test. But not a lot of people do the test, though. <laughs> it's not the same as the actual competition. Martin says that Grumpy, who was actually Grumpy NLO. Okay, I do know who you're talking about then. I thought so. He stopped uh, seeing how it was changing. He told to play silo wise and things like that. Okay. Yeah, I know which one you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Grumpy from the Snow White as Avatar. Yeah, he's cool. He was helping out. Juxies, I can share my build, but he's doing 180 for me, only card. That's very good, Juxies. With only ghost cards? Skins also, I'm, I'm, I assume. Because 180 with only ghost cards? I kind of don't believe you, but you know. It, I'm sure it's possible. <laughs> With skins and ghost cards, yeah, it, it could be done. It could be done. It'd have to be very well balanced, though. I 
I mean, you can share it with me if you want, Juxies, but I'm gonna have to try to figure out how to do this with just two corners. Like, the, the third of the map, all this right here, it's gonna be wine bottles. So I have to use these two corners, and keep in mind, I'm gonna need a place to make rice husk and sugarcane. It cannot be anywhere near this corner, because there's dirty and shade all around. I'm gonna have nukes next to the ocean maybe the river no ne next to the river and the ocean i'm gonna have nukes so that's gonna cast shade so my crops are either gonna be some weird awkward spot like they're probably gonna be right here actually i can imagine they'll be right here so somehow i'm gonna try to make this work see how much i can do it's gonna be interesting it'll be different People are over 200 with skins and cards. Wow. That's impressive. That's more than uh, what I thought would be uh, possible with just skins and cards. You don't have skins, only the uh, the ghost cards then and the blueprints. Wow, that's, that's impressive. I definitely could have practiced better then. <laughs> I wonder how much I could have done with just skins and cards. Hmm. Well, the Miranda skins and the ghost cards I meant. My uh, champion's arena got stuck. I guess the fact that they give us both a river and an ocean, you could really use that to your advantage. You know, with getting all the sushi boats you need to make. I really don't want to make the steel mill until I'm done with all this. Because I need the styling right for it. Yeah, I'll just wait till all this is done. Check it out, Juxies. I don't even have the uh, visualizer open. Let me go open it up. Okay, cool. I have the same idea for the 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 way you have your nukes and the wild net fishing. Uh, but everything else, I can't really do that because <laughs> I'm gonna do wine bottles. And I don't even need to have that many fishing nets. That's just something I'm gonna have to figure out while I'm working on this. Because I'm only going to be using like half the map, basically. So I'm not going to have that much space. I need to make space for all the workers, all the mixing tents, all the sushi restaurants. I um, I don't need the river or actual water because I have water towers, so I can just use that. 
So I can have all my wild nets over here. And my seaweed will get the... Right next to the ocean edge, basically, for my seaweed. And that means I would have... My fish farms over here. And crops over here somewhere. That's the idea. I just don't know how much I'll need. Hard in saving for power plants, and it goes fast with the gold rush. Yeah, for sure. Oh, I'm gonna need power plants too. For, for uh, gasoline. Gonna be a warehouse. Yeah. I just gotta wait here. I guess what I could do is try to plan this out a bit better on the visualizer. Let's see if I can do that. See what do we have? Mountain. I think it's supposed to go like this. Yeah. Yep. Let's see. Ah, uh, good enough. Okay. I guess first of all, I have to put my wine bottle set up here. Uh, yeah, I didn't even have this set up. When's this one? It's like a... Set this up real quick. I'm not going to label them. I just assume that they're making wine bottles. Uh, I'm missing this.
Yeah, that's what I'm making over here. Gotta make one there, and then two more over here, or three more, and then three more over here. Okay, so it's almost done. Ocean is a big help for the seaweed, for sure. But, uh, oh, well, yeah. Even the river for the crops, if you decide to use it for that. Duxies, I try using platform, but give up after four time rebuilding. Yeah, that's what I did with my build showcase. I ended up going for platform because I've never done it before. And I ended up doing a hybrid of the fishing platform and wild net fishing. And I I, I think it ended up okay. At a, it was doing 100 temper hour. I know it could have done more. Especially if I only did wild net fishing. But I just wanted to try it out. It can be done. I do believe you can make a good build using only fishing platforms. But it's it's just it's different, you know. Oh. Built pretty quickly. Washer, so wild net fishing is definitely better. I think it comes down to opinion. Um, I like doing wild net fishing more than I like doing fishing platforms. That's just me. I don't know if one is definitely better than the other one. I have more experience doing the sushi boat build with wild net fishing. You know, that would be a good question to ask in the pool. Although I do think wild net fishing would win. I think more people would say wild net fishing is better. Okay, I think that's it. And then I have to figure out... My new placements. You know, I, I maybe I only need to do one edge. Like maybe I should start with one edge. I need to have three passive energy. So I could do that. I could have a nuke over here so we can do multiple edges like that. Three, three. Yeah, like that. And then here. So I can do all these while net fishing. Over here. You know, maybe I can do the rice classic over here. Rice fields. Over here, seaweed. If I need more nukes. I mean, if I need more fishing platform, wild net fishing, sorry. I can do this, right? I'll still have plenty of space for seaweed. I don't actually know if I need that nuke, to be honest. I have no idea. 
Yeah, look, I could get all that. Hold on, I think I can do this better. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Right there. So, uh, I'm not gonna label this, just assume they're doing salmon, right? So, I would do all these, that is... 14. I'll have that space for rice husk, sugar gain. Over here, seaweed. I would need a bunch of space for the workers over here, maybe. You can see my mouse. Yeah, you can see my mouse. Wasn't sure. I know these need a, uh, you know, a uh, water pump. Road could be like that. Uh, yeah, road all across the ocean here. A uh, road, maybe not all across, but like leading over here to where I'll have the rice the rice fields so four spaces like that that's a starting point okay first power plant almost done saving for a second then big boats yeah after i'm done with this i gotta do gas production oh i'm full of lumber let's start making lumber Focus on collecting wood, I guess. Yeah. Oh, wrong button. Dude, point. What's up? Just passing by to say hi, boys and girls. Kind of bored with this uh, same to do meta. Hey, Rod. What's up? <laughs> I understand that. The shots. What's up? Well, that is definitely better. Even if you cover energy pass by, the platform is still far worse because of the extra ingredients. I would think so too. Uh, while um, the shot, but I've seen people do pretty good builds with uh, the fishing platforms. I know Estrella de Ciudad, the uh, the Brazil Portuguese channel. They um they posted a really good build for sushi boats, and they used fishing platforms. Maybe not for this competition, but one that happened a couple months back. So I know it can be done. You can make a good build with them. But yeah, like you say, wild net probably is better. I mean, you say it's definitely better. So. <laughs> Martin, if dubs up not streaming, gets boring. With stream, it's building together so fun. <laughs> sure. Appreciate that. Gas production, you? I have to make gas because I'm making wine bottles and I can't sell... Just... I can't do all these wine bottle sales with the dragon. My dragon can't keep up. Um, so I need to make gas production just to sell the wine bottles and then my dragon will sell the sushi boats that uh, I plan to make over here. So yes, I will have to make gasoline, believe it or not. For the restaurants. Um. Oh, what do you mean for the restaurant? Like, yeah, what do you mean? But yeah, I'm going to need to make restaurants too. Oh yeah, I need to make gasoline. Pardon, you're right. Homeboy is Nishant here. The kiss are sir. That's correct. Nishant K. Sarasara. That is correct. Am I done with this? Oh, almost. I need to make one more right here.
Yeah, just that one. And actually, I need to make three more over here. I forgot. Thank you. Uh, these can go somewhere else. Actually, it doesn't matter right now. Almost done. Yeah, fuel shouldn't be an issue though. I have the porch and I have a rare water pump. I can work with that. You know, I can just use the aquifer. I'm going to have a diamond water pump somewhere else anyways. Let me see how I can organize this so it'll look all right. I need a refinery making gasoline, petroleum, fuel storage. What do y'all think? Think this will work? Passive crude oil. Six energy, four refinery making gasoline, fuel storage on the side. Works, right? What could possibly go wrong? Huh? What could possibly go wrong there? Also, I need the, the freight here, which that'll be on the corner over here. There. Solid. Uh, please don't tell me this is in the way. Let's see, three. Ah, uh, that's in the way. Damn. Damn, that warehouse is in the way. No, I need to move that warehouse. I actually need to move that warehouse. I'll figure something out over here. I'll be done with this. We'll set up. I don't think anything's missing. Uh, look at my wine bottles. 121. My dragon cannot keep up with it anymore. So I'm going to stop making gold. My dragon is getting overloaded. Uh, I'll, I'll make 25 gold and then that's it. So one more. Oh, I made like three more. But okay. There. I can sell one more batch of gold and then it's just going to be wine bottles. Hour and 15 minutes, fuel setup done. Sweet, that's quick. But imagine that, I'm like an hour and 20 minutes and I'll have my wine bottle rush done also. Start making a decent amount of stars. How am I doing with just that? Seventh place, wow. Up until the point where people start 
uh, selling those sushi boats, I guess. Big boat for me and enough storages and then finish total gold rush and time to sleep. Yeah. Okay, so I got rid of my gold rush. Yeah, dragon's busy. These are... Yeah, I just gotta let these finish. So my plan here is make the... The steel mill over here. I have a warehouse across it to make sure that the steel actually gets dropped off here. Because uh, I need to use up this iron, so I, I need to place down a paper out here to do my gas setup. Yeah, you'll see. You'll see what I'm talking about. I don't need that one. Right. I have these two plates. That's right. Because my warehouses are getting full. I think I have to refresh my game. Damn. I, yeah, I'll go ahead and build the steel mill. Okay, I'm going to refresh my game because it's not letting me place down the styling right. So something is bugged. Something is bugged. so you don't know how many bow you make oh no i didn't practice this idea so i don't know how much of each building i need to make that's just something i'll figure out while i'm working on this see how i do it live on stream i just hope it won't take you know hours i'll probably go on like another two hours at most um and if i don't finish it hmm. i could always do another part later today or if I'm close to finishing it, I'll just finish it and show you guys at the uh, end of the competition. Just depends. Because, you know, Sushi Boats actually does take quite some time to do. Similar to Stack Boxes, just not as annoying, but it comes close. 
I still don't. I still hate uh, the stack box builds more than the sushi boat, so. And it ended up using two iron. That's fine. So now I need to start paving some of these roads while it works on the steel. Yeah, I'll pave one at a time. Well, I'll pave two at a time just to make it quicker. They basically did two weeks of fishing competitions Un unintentionally, I guess. I mean, it's anything goes, but fishing, <laughs> the, the salmon nigiri and the sushi boats are the winners. I guess they didn't realize that at first. Yeah, so steel, I have water drums. Uh, it's going to need to pick up energy, but that's fine. Let's keep making energy. I hate materials for fish meta. Yeah. All the materials you need to build everything is just so time consuming. So I'm going to just do two nukes. Worst case scenario, I need to get the materials for a third one. But I feel like with the space I'm working with, two nukes should be enough. Like I said, that's going to give me 14 wild net fishing, I believe. Uh, I'll go back and take a look at it. I mean, I'll, I'll pave roads on the background. So, two more. Where is it? Yep. Yeah, 14 of those wild net fishing. So I'm using an aquifer up here. That means one of these is going to use the diamond water pump. Yeah, that one and I could actually have my roads like that but what can I really do with these spots not much yeah, so I'll just have that. Rice husk, rice fields over here. Up to aquifer, so my second one would go over here. And let's just look at the water first. need eight water for the rice fields actually I, I can just have it over here So I could have 10 rice fields, one sugarcane field. I can't put anything on these spots because I have shade. Well, I mean, I can't put this at least. I could put like worm farms or something. Uh, my silo could be there at least one of my silos yeah and preferably you want the worm farms close to that
Can't really decide how many worm farms are you. Probably two. <laughs> I'm not going to make that much sushi boats. Keep that in mind. Uh, these two spots, I'm not really sure. You have my dragon here. If I don't want to put it up here on the corner, I could just have it over here. That's an idea. So, like, right here. Do something else with this. Maybe another... No, I don't even think I need more sugar cane. Okay, let's just place down some sushi restaurants. So, only the salmon and ones need three energy. How many will I need? Uh, total, maybe three of each. So, maybe nine? Like that? No, maybe like that. Nine. Yeah, like that. Uh, seafood warehouse right here because it needs to collect the salmon it's gonna have to collect roe and the fish the uh well the shrimp shrimp roe salmon fish jam. so all of that has to be near here worms go in the storehouse I have a storehouse, NFT, and I think I'm going to need a regular storehouse also. Storehouse could go... Somewhere around here. I guess I could put it here. The restaurants will have to walk a little bit to get over here, but it shouldn't be a big issue. The only problem I see with this is similar to my no NFT build or my no NFTs required build. If I'm going to have mixing tents all the way over here making the uh, food mix, they're going to have to walk quite a distance in order to pick up the worms. You, you know, I'm just going to have to deal with that. Wasabi needs shade. That's right. Yeah. Loggers and bunk penners. It takes space for faster wind and more porches. Yeah. Wasabi usually isn't an issue though. You know what? Go ahead and pay for all of these. It slows down my wine bottle production for a couple minutes. But I already have a bunch of wine bottles, so... It's no issue. I don't think I'm even going to need more, much more cash. I only have to make two nukes. You're right. Wasabi, look at look at all this shade I'm casting over here. Wasabi doesn't care about dirty, so you have it over here. Uh, sure, it would go into this silo, or really, I could even put it in the silo over here because I'm gonna have one for seaweed. I have an epic water tower that I would put here, and I'm sure it gives me more seaweed than what I need. Oh, I don't, I, I don't have to label these. That's right. All of that can be seaweed. Not that one. I guess I would do something else with that spot. Wasabi needs four water, I believe. Or three. I think it was three. It needs three water. Hold on, I'm checking in-game. It needs four water to build, three water to grow. That's right. That's what it was. And shade. Right. 
preferably closer to the actual crops so all the trackers can be on the corner over here seaweed farmers would be on the this edge Oh, Crypto Dude hasn't put in the new silo NFT here, so I'm just going to use another ground silo. This one would be for the seaweed. Um... One of these spots, somewhere here. No idea how much uh, shrimp farms I'll need, so three or four or something. But yeah, the mixing tents making white rice need energy. That's right. So. And make those there. Really, I could make one here and just put the storehouse up here. The mixing tents making row and fish chum can be closer over here. Well, food mix and fish chum. I don't know where I'll have my fish farms yet. Maybe they could be right here. Just they can't be anywhere next to the dirty. That's for sure. I would say two or three of these. And then these can be fish chum. I have a rough idea. Obviously, it's not done, but I, I'm I'm thinking of what I'm gonna do. So I can get the roads done, I can get the two nukes done, and I can get the wild net fishing done, and then work my way through everything else. I know I'm gonna need wasabi. I'm obviously gonna need workers to do all this. I'm gonna need the fish farms. Probably something else that I haven't figured out yet. Okay. But as you can see, I'm trying to come up with a plan as I go right there. Ali, today's lesson will be wasabi. Use negative things useful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. They want shade. They don't care if there's dirty or salty. So yeah. So what do I have going on? Three steel. Cool. I used up on my iron. Start making iron again. This time it'll... Hopefully put it over here. I need to work on my gas reduction. I can't remember the last time I said that. I need to work on my gas reduction. I need this paved road. Refinery. I need I should probably reset this. Oh, 14 minutes ago? That's not bad. 2460 per hour i'll go ahead and refresh it again because i'm actually like done with this i actually paved the roads and everything should be complete ah that's quick One more power plant. Okay. Yeah, so I kind of pretty much have the roads set up how I'm planning to have them set up. 
Oh, it's still bugged. Okay. There's a bug with the edge over here. I guess it's the east edge. I thought the bug was with the south edge. But it won't let you place down paved roads like this. There's a loophole. You kind of have to place down dirt roads. A dirt road next to it and a dirt road where you're trying to put the paved road at. And then you upgrade that road to a paved road. That's the only thing. That's like the only way it's going to let you actually put paved roads. If you don't put a dirt road next to it, it's going to say the requirements are not met. Even though there's a dirt road over here. I know it's so weird. It's a bug, of course. But yeah. Like, see, I can't put paved roads over here. Can't even put them over here. Despite me meeting the requirements. Yeah, it's waiting on iron now. That's making iron. So, just pave roads, yeah. Go ahead and pave roads. I need to be making lumber again. Hold on. I can't have my diamond warehouse out for it. Oh, there's a dirt road there. My bad. Doesn't matter. I guess I never got rid of that pond. I don't... Yeah, I don't need that pond. Oh, I need to pave that. I'll pave that later, though. Same thing with this. Okay, I can start making gas. Oh, that's right. I could just make energy with this. So I don't need the, uh, the energy plant anymore. Actually, I have, a, I have plenty of energy. I'm not going to make any right now. So this is my gasoline setup. The reason it works is because I have an aquifer and that normally gives you one water drum. It's actually giving me two water drums because I have the diamond water pump placed. So I can have this setup right here where I'm only using one of them. I have all the water drums I need for the gasoline. The power plants are set up in a way where I'll get six energy for gasoline. And I have the haunted porch which gives me the passive crude oil for the refinery making petroleum. Fuel storage is close to the one making gasoline, so it's not going to overproduce petroleum this way. These two roads right here, I don't actually need these two. I, I need them over here. I believe... Can I move my mill? No. No, I don't think I can actually move my mill. I would need to move the aquifer. But I need the aquifer here to make the... To get the water drum for the iron mine. No, actually... Never mind. I can move it. This works. Perfect. So... I don't actually need this. Yeah, I don't.
I haven't even started collecting oak wood and I'm also going to need that. I'm at five steel. I need five more steel. Good progress with that. All right. Forest edge problem. Uh, you mean this right here? Yeah, the, the edge has a problem with putting down paved roads. I don't know if you've tried it yet. I don't know if it's just because it's a forest edge or just that edge in particular. What can I do? Just wait around, I guess. I'm gonna need like maybe two or three wasabi farms, so I guess over here somewhere. Shade. You know, I guess I could have one wasabi farm right there. That would just be one of them. I, I would need at least one more. Actually, how, how much wasabi? No, yeah, I would need at least one more. I would think. I have no idea how many I can make, so... I can put one right there. I could probably put one closer if I put more buildings over here. I'm not sure yet. Uh, let me try to place down the fish farms. So they need to be close to the seafood warehouse and also to the silo. Aquaculturist pick up seaweed, take it to the fish farms making row. Maybe three, at most four, but I'll just do three for now. And then they'll do the same thing for the eel. Just need to make sure there's no dirty. And there we go, I guess. That should work. I could even make four of each. I don't know if I'll need that many yet. Other than the workers, am I actually missing anything here? I feel like I am. Obviously, I haven't, like... Oops. I haven't labeled these. I'll label them while I'm doing it. Probably three of each. The uh, sushi restaurants. I could even have more sushi restaurants here, but I'll probably have fishermen houses there. The uh, sauce facilities, right? For the rice vinegar. They would have to pick up white rice, which would be over here, as well as sugar cane. And there is also water from the water tower right here. At most two? Maybe I can do it with one, but at most two. I'll, I'll have more shade on this for sure. Whenever I put down more buildings. Okay. Uh, 
I want to say that's everything other than the workers. Yeah, and the workers, I'll just put down, you know, wherever I can over here, it doesn't really matter. But whatever tile I have available. Can I make this look nicer? Something else can go here. Okay, and all of this can be workers, I think. I need to start getting materials for the fishing platforms. Sorry, wild in that fishing. You know, I'm checking my Discord, and one thing I totally forgot to do is actually tell people I was in a live stream today. <laughs> so appreciate everybody coming by and watching. Actually, uh, you know what? Let me go ahead and post that on their channel, on the uh, on their Discord. Totally forgot. I think what I was doing, yeah, what I was doing right before I started the live stream was setting up the giveaways on the Discord. Okay. 
Yeah, I'll post it in my channel as well in a moment. Let me get these trees going. Oakwood trees. Yeah, I haven't done the town name. <laughs> that can wait. Martin uh, says, I think I'll make bases for ice and steel. Did water pump at steel place. And want to do the ice place tomorrow. Actual build of both making ice and steel. It's all going much faster now. Cool. That's right. You got to do steel. I mean, you got to do the ice as well. I forget about the ice. That's weird in leaderboard. I see your name. We did not name in stream. It still uses the name from uh, your Gala account. So it, nobody else actually sees your town name. Other than those, uh, the one that Farmer Michelle posts on the Google Sheets, I guess you can see the town name there. Am I, I'm still 7th? Is that right? Huh. I guess. Yeah. Lucky number 7. Still. Almost two hours in. I have all the money I need for the build. I just need to get the materials for everything. So, yeah. Uh, I guess I keep doing the roads. Eight steel. So I'm going to make two more. Gonna make the post on my Discord real quick.
All right. There we go. Bukari, two hours in, and looks like I'm um, 53. Well, that's good for two hours in. My gas reduction setup is done. I'm not using it on the wine bottles yet. But I'll go ahead and unuse it for the wine bottle. So sell at 100. Not making gold anymore. Because um, once I start making this other stuff for the sushi boats, uh, my dragon has to actually sell that stuff. So the freight will only sell. You know, I don't even have the freight yet. <laughs> Let me build that. Yeah. How am I going to sell with the freight pier if I don't even have it yet? Okay, now it's being built. <laughs> Paul just got a notification to say you're streaming. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. I just posted it. Like, might as well post it. You know, I didn't, I didn't even do the post on the Lapis distribution for our Champions Arena estate yesterday. I mean, I know people got it. They they see the mail. They see there was a distribution. I just forgot to do the post. And we're going to distribute gems probably today. If not today, then tomorrow. But yeah. Everybody needs gems. <laughs> oh, Paul, for Champions Arena, our estate is maxed out. Like, all the upgrades are done flawlessly. So right now, there are no more upgrades to do. I don't know if there will be. Just depends on whether they add more buildings to the estates or not. Which, if they do, they would add the smithy, which was... The uh, estate shop was originally supposed to be the smithy. I don't know what happened. I don't know why they changed it. But yeah, they either they are either gonna add the smithy or they're not gonna add any more buildings. I have no idea. Need two more steel. Oh yeah, still making the iron. Great pier's almost done. Okay. Yeah, this will take a while. The uh, wild nets. on my lumber. Yep, I'm to the point where it's gonna take a while to uh, build stuff. Martin, seen how fast gold, if I would go on for hours more, or for an hour more or so, I could do seal as well. Yeah. Don't forget to sleep. You better catch up on sleep. As long as you have it running while you're asleep. 
Do you have all the money you need? Or I would hope so. I mean, I guess I can plan out where I'm going to put my building. But yeah, feel free to ask any, um, you know, questions. On, it doesn't have to be common ground, world related, Champions Arena, Legacy, uh, Eternal Paradox. Anything you want to ask, go ahead and ask. Uh, in the meantime, I guess I'll just look at this and place stuff down here. Eleven fourteen. Um, oh, that doesn't have a road. Ah, uh, whatever. Yeah, yeah, I really don't think I need that many. Yeah, I don't think I need that many. And uh, tractors. So the one that doesn't have a road, I'm just gonna have a dedicated crane bot there. Same thing over here, dedicated crane bot. Oh, I forgot I got two spots over here. I don't know what I'll do with those two spots. Figure that out. Probably in the end, two, just two random spots. What is sleep 2 a.m. here? Yeah, you're like, yeah, you're the other side of the world for me. It's 2 p.m. here. But you know, I'm not that surprised. Sometimes I go to sleep like at 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. Wake up uh, at 10 a.m. Actually, sometimes I have to wake up at 9 a.m. So I get six hours sleep. Just depends on the day. need one more steel I think I should only need three tractors there's a chance I'll need more but I'm not working with too many crops so I'll stay around here eight fishermen houses is already a lot in my opinion it really is Maybe six. Can't go wrong with a lot of aquaculturous houses, so I could just do that. 18 aquaculturists. 11 seaweed. These two could also be seaweed farms, I guess. What do I do with these? Also seaweed farms or shrimp farms? I could do more mixing tents. This is just something I'm gonna have to decide at the very end, I think. This could be another fish farm if I need to. Yeah, so I could just do this. It, it really depends. I don't know how much I'll need of this. I could just do that four and four. Maybe I need four mixing tents making food mix just because they gotta walk a long distance for the worms. Oh, I might also need a yeah, I will need a regular storehouse, another one. Because just one storehouse is not going to cut it. And that regular storehouse would go here somewhere. You know, I can't put tractors here, I just realized that. It would interfere with the crops. So I could do... Move this around a bit.
I don't know what I'll put in that spot then. Just put something else. Three tractors. It could be a fisherman house. There. That works. But my, my initial idea here is done, as far as I can tell. Unless I'm obviously missing something. But I really don't think so. Guess I can try to label these. Reef or Salmon Inquiry. There's always a chance that I'll need to make another sushi restaurant or more shrimp farms. Three of each. Six mixing tents and you know maybe I need another mixing tent. Hopefully not. It's a possibility. If I do, I know how to add one more. Yep, I will have to just build this and see how it goes. Learn how to become a Batman. <laughs> We just call them night elves. Pleasure, well, I thought sleep was for the dead, so I stopped sleeping so much. Martin, I don't really sleep that much. Often hours awake, but I need uh, the rest besides the sleep. Have days of five hours sleep and days of two hours, maybe. Well, I mean, you you need to sleep or else you're gonna be really tired. That's for sure. Like, sure, you could go some days with four or five hours sleep, but you're probably gonna have to make it up some other day. At least, that, that seems to be the case for me. I could sleep only 4 hours a couple days, and then one of the days I'll sleep like 10 hours. <laughs> I'd be that tired. Or if you only sleep like 4 hours, then you'll probably end up taking a nap. Or two naps. It's possible. I guess if you have the opportunity to. Herbs, making sea and ice at the moment so I can get home. Oh, so I can get some rest for the next 1.5 hours, okay. Alright, that's a plan. And yeah, still eat though. Alright. So, so just two nukes. It's gonna be done with just two nukes. I'm gonna start dropping in the ranks now. Because uh these people have to be making some sushi boats by now. Alright, so, uh, dedicated crane bot spots. Let me figure those out. Right here. And... Right there. Actually, never mind. I don't need these. Okay, I made it to 10 steel. I do not need to make any more steel. I do need to make a couple of iron and that's it. I'm gonna 
make a nuke right there. I need to place down the diamond pump. And the other nuke will be over here. Martin says, no, I want sometimes more sleep, but I don't catch it. Often in the morning at, let's say, 4 a.m. Bored. Oh, like trouble sleep. Sometimes I have that too. <laughs> it's rare your alarm wakes you up. Oh, okay. You wake up before the alarm or something. Once this nuke is done, I can change my lumber production over here. Well, I guess I can start doing that. So, remove all this. Problem is, I'm gonna want mixing sense there later. Okay, I'm gonna put the wood storage and lumber storage where I'm going to have the storehouses later. That way they'll be easier to replace. Need one more iron. Oh, he might have some trouble getting that last lumber.
I'm gonna need brine for the seaweed farms. But I need a farmer to pick them up. See you later, Martin. Whoops, I accidentally made a pumpkin. <laughs> I forgot I had that on. Uh, yeah, I don't need that pumpkin. Okay, whatever. Oh yeah, the farmers have the capes now. Super farmers. I wonder if we're still gonna get the the possessed farmer for Halloween, the one that moves faster. Cause we got the farmer with the cape now, so maybe it'll have a cape and a pumpkin head. No, I can make two mills. But just just because of the cape Tipuka, that's why I call it the super farmer. It still moves really slow.
Anyways, how many people here are going to check out Legacy? That is coming out on the 26th of October. It's a Thursday, actually. You know what? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's coming out on the 26th of October. I am planning to live stream it when it comes out. Just to check it out. I've never played the game. I never played in the beta test or closed beta test, whatever it was. Um, I'm going to the movies on that day, but assuming it comes out before that, I should be able to, to live stream and play it for a while. Not sure if it's a game I'll actively cover. That's not really one of the main games I plan on playing, but I'll at least check it out. So you see uh, what we can learn about it. It's the information I know about the game is very limited. Like, I don't know that much. Trixies, I will try that. Roger, I'm not sure if I will since they halted the Echoes of Empire release because of Legacy. That's interesting, Watcher. I actually didn't know that. Yes, uh, Echoes of Empire was uh, supposed to release October, right? Did they delay it to November? Or did they, they, did they delay it even further? That's what I'm not sure about. I didn't know that they delayed it because of Legacy, as you say. So that is interesting. Echoes of Empire, I'm, I never checked out the game. I could have, but I just never did. It, it seems like it's a 4x strategy game like Eternal Paradox, so... I mean, if I had to pick one or the other, I would pick Eternal Paradox. Just because I already played that, I even have playtest gems coming in from that. And because I like the... the... <sighs> medieval fantasy feel more than I like the sci-fi and space feeling, if that makes sense. Genre was considering legacy, but not sure if I will bother any anymore. <laughs> well, at least check it out. I'm not planning to get anything for that game. I mean, that's what it said about Champions Arena, and that was a complete lie. <laughs> but this time, yeah, I'm not planning on getting anything for legacy. We'll see how that goes. I still need the one iron. Yep. Still need one iron. Oh, I need the water drop. That's what it is. Um. There we go. So you're not going to check it out at all, Shenra? Aren't you curious? What this new, possibly big game could be? Business sim game? You know what I've been telling people? It looks like a cool looking cookie clicker. Like if you don't know what cookie clicker is, um, not necessarily the game, but the kind of- those kind of games, clicker games. You click on the spot really quickly to progress and then sometimes you do other things like build stuff that helps you click more or get more money. That, that's why I call it like an, a cool looking cookie clicker because you do have to click in order to progress some crafting I guess. You click somewhere and then you click somewhere else and then you click somewhere else. I just know that based on the videos that they've shown. I've never actually played it. That's why I call it an advanced cookie clicker or a cool looking cookie clicker. I could be completely wrong. There could be more to it than that. I know you actually like you you are supposed to be creative like with what you design. Um, but I feel like if there's a way to be efficient, people are going to choose to be efficient instead of being creative. I mean, look at this game. Efficiency wins overall instead of creativity. Genra, do you need some kind of token to access? It seems like it takes a lot of effort to learn and play and I might not bother. My understanding the game is going to be free to play. Everyone's going to be able to play it. Um, if you actually want to earn in the game, you will need some kind of 
token or permission uh, or own a uh, land NFT. Uh, so from my understanding, if you don't have land NFT, you're going to have to get with somebody who does own a land NFT. They'll have a set amount of keys and they'll have to give you one of these keys and you'll be able to participate, I guess, in these play to earn events. Like I said, there's there's not a whole lot of info they gave us. There's a lot of stuff I don't know. Uh, but from my understanding, play and earn will require you to either have land NFT or know somebody who does. That gives you permission. Gala Gaming, what's up? Have fun on the competition. I'll start in two hours for sure. I'm having fun just selling these wine bottles. <laughs> And now I am patiently waiting to get everything I else I need for this. I probably don't need no more oak wood for a while. I still need wood though. I'll slow down my oak wood production. I still need it for some of these other buildings, of course. So um let me make fish farms. And some of this other stuff like the seaweed farmers and stuff. Oh, I don't need this anymore. I do not need these two. One decorated cake. Well, that's a start. <laughs> so what? You need 24 more? Or 9, I guess, if you're using gas. How many decorated cakes are you planning to do per hour, Pokari? If you know. Like, how does it compare to, say, sushi boats? Okay, you so uh, with gasoline.
still waiting on energy. Well, it's just waiting on the builders. No idea my rate. My town looks like a mess. <laughs> okay. Why do I have a paved road here? It's actually supposed to be right here. It's my mistake. So I have the three tractors now. Oh, I have all the brine that I need. Yeah, I do not need this much brine. I'm making good progress, I think, but it might just be... It might be like another hour and a half before I can finish it. Oh wow, I forgot to pave this road. Did not know that. 
Also, I forgot to put down the, uh, put back down the diamond warehouse, so I gotta do that. I'll put it on this one right here. Don't need that one. Yeah, I still need that. All right. What I'm thinking of doing is try to build as much as I possibly can here and probably take a break. And that way, when I come back, hopefully most of this is done and I can actually start trying to see how much sushi boats this can make. Because it doesn't really make much sense to wait around here 20 or 30 minutes just to wait for this to build. And all of these are going to be seaweed farms, but they're just going to be builder houses for now to help me build everything. They can get started on some of the shrimp farms. Even though I don't have seaweed, um, at least the water part of the shrimp farms. Seaweed farm is three water to build. Yeah, that's fine. I don't need the silo right now. So in that spot I can have... No, I'm gonna I'm move the oak shed to that spot. I'll go ahead and name my town. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, I think I'm building up as much as I possibly can. You know, hopefully this makes a decent amount of sushi boats. I really don't even know what would be decent with the amount of space I'm working with. Maybe like 100 per hour. I guess that would be fine. But hopefully we'll find out after this is done. So I am going to go ahead and take a break because this will take at least half an hour to do. So I'll probably be back in 30 or 40 minutes. Um, hopefully... Yeah, hopefully this is done. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, good luck to everyone. I'm still going to keep streaming. Just going to be running this um, and I'll be back in 30, 40 minutes. Yeah, I'll keep it on this. All right. Gonna get something to eat. Hopefully no spinning globe.
Okay, I am back. I did get on the remote the remote view because I realized I had too much lumber and I needed to turn it off to make wood. And now I am full on wood lumber and oak wood, so that's perfect. So now I can just do the rest of the stuff like the seafood how about the seaweed farms and then that'll finish up the shrimp farms and then I need to do like the rice fields and stuff and uh, these three need to be mixing tents I'm gonna go ahead and do those first yeah all right mixing tents Let's see. So we're three and a half hours into the competition. Let me see where I am in the leaderboard. 13th. Okay. That makes sense. Oh no. I have to, re <laughs> I have to reload the game. Because all my builders are moonwalking now. Real quick. First, let me put down the seaweed farms. And yeah, let me go ahead and refresh it, and I'll do the other stuff. Oh, well, I hope people know this already. And I should probably make an announcement about it. But, um... Make sure you don't actually go on another browser and go into the common ground mode while you have a browser open on your competition. If you want to go to common ground world, do it from the same browser 
uh reload it go back to this menu and then go to the common ground mode don't have two browsers open that's basically what i'm saying if you do that you're gonna screw yourself over um your town's not gonna be running unless it's an offline mode then yeah it'll catch up offline but it's not going to be running your progress is not going to be saved so be careful with that don't have two browsers open so like after i'm done here i'm probably going to go check on my common ground mode and then i'm going to go back to yeah i'll go back here and then anytime I want to ch uh, check the common ground mode, then I'll have to do the same thing. Juxies, full of energy after break and forget this game. Don't like if you do something fast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> full of energy, full of materials as well in the game. Oh, sweet. All oh, the seaweed farms are done. So now they need to collect seaweed for this. I really don't think I'm going to need more seaweed than this. Like, I can't possibly imagine that I'll need more than this. I'll, but I, I guess we'll see. Who knows, right? Am I going to need more lumber? I don't think so. I don't think I'll need more lumber. So I'm gonna build these out. Okay, I need two worm farms. That's the plan. My dragon is gonna go here. One of the wasabi farms will go here. Yeah, three shade. And then the other wasabi farm will go here once I'm done with all this wood gathering. I assume some people would go and check out their common ground mode while a competition's still going on. I could be wrong. I mean, if you don't want to check it out at all, that's completely okay. But I'm still going to try to, like, you know, get on it and sell my bottles. I'm not really doing anything else in that mode right now. Need to do that. So three will make heal. Actually, ah, it doesn't really matter. Three make salmon. Three make eel. Need two more fishing things here. Fisherman houses. Three making sushi boats. one of the wind wind pumps back ah, 
Hama had to refresh the game. No. I place on a building and then it doesn't pop up. And one sugarcane field. So I still have to put the ground silo. I don't know if I need oak wood for anything else anymore. I hope not. I mean, I have no idea. Drixies, I don't check often in common ground mode. Ah. So maybe you'll check it once per day and it'll just be full of, uh, on the storage, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this oak wood and if I need more later, I'll just deal with it then. Because I need my silo. I need more energy. No, I don't think so. I can turn off all the energy production. Get rid of this. Wait. Yeah, get rid of it. Wasabi. Alright, let me go ahead and refresh it again, just to get back that rice field. I still don't know what I'm gonna do with those three or four empty spots up there. But uh, I'll leave this running for a couple minutes and hopefully try to get an idea of if it's working or what needs to be fixed or whatnot. I would hope that they know that bug because it's not the first it's not like anything new it's been happening wait why did i make one energy Go ahead and flush it. Whoa, 50 shrimp. Uh, yeah, I need to start making fish chum. Well, actually, these first three are going to be food mix. And then these other ones are going to be fish chum. Four of them. I'm pretty sure I'll need another one making fish chum. Pretty sure. Well, I don't have any storehouses yet. That's right. I'm either going to need more shrimp farms or more making fish chum. I'm not sure yet. Really not sure. But uh, I'll go ahead and turn this on and see how that runs. You think I'll need more tents, Juxi. So do you think I'll need any more shrimp farms at all? I mean, I have space. I can make the tents. You might be right. I might need more tents. 13 seconds per fish chum. I can make a, like 90 or 100 per hour per tent. 
do i really juke seize i mean i could make like 400 in my in my head i do the calculations in my head and i think i can make like 400 per hour i mean even the monitor seems to agree with me for the first couple minutes 400 per hour how many sushi boats can you make with 400 fish chum per hour let me check Two hundred sushi boats? That's a lot. I mean, considering this. I don't know, Juxies. I really... I don't think I do need another one. What I do have to do is put a storehouse or else I'm not going to get any white rice. So I'm going to get rid of my wood shed. I can get wood back pretty easily. And uh, put down one of my storehouses. I still need to make another one. Oh, well, yeah, I'm going to need wood to make the other one. That's right. Yeah, I'll do that later. I don't want to get rid of my lumber yet because then that's more difficult to make. So there, I put a storehouse for my white rice, for my worms. I'll reset the production monitor again because it's kind of flawed. I really don't think I need more brine. Why did I get a spinning globe? What did I do wrong? Did everybody get the spinning globe or just me? Guess I'll refresh again. <laughs> I'm refreshing more right now than I did the first three hours of the stream. All right. Yeah, maybe it was just me, Pukari. I did something wrong. Another thing, Juicy, is I don't even know how much like salmon I can make with this. Like they're all busy. Like if I really wanted to, I could make two more a uh, wild net fishing if I use my solar panel right here. But I didn't know. I don't know if I actually need to do that. With each one of these, I could make uh, let's say twenty five. 25 salmon for each wild net fishing, okay? That's just a guesstimate. That would be... 350 salmon, I think. Wait. Yeah, 350 salmon, because I have 14 wild net fishing. 357. Best case scenario, I can make like 175 sushi boats per hour. I'd be thrilled if I can actually make that much with the wine bottle set up. Now your town froze a couple of times, Rachel. Oh yeah, I mean that, that kept happening to me. Waiting on... Oh, okay, no wonder. This has dirty from the uh, rape beer. That makes sense. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to let this run for a while so I can get an idea of... of what actually needs to be done. So I'm making salmon nigiri. 
uh, the salmon, I have the white rice. Oh, I'm not even making the rice vinegar yet, my bad. The rice vinegar is necessary... For what again? <laughs> for the... okay. For the sushi boats, that's right. So that's that was what was waiting on rice vinegar. Eel nigiri is... oh, it's being made. So I, I'm collecting wasabi, yeah. White rice, of course, and eel. Yeah. Seems like I should be should be getting everything for sushi boats pretty soon. I'm sure one of the issues I'll have is that I'm not making enough uh, rice husk. I, I'm pretty sure that's going to be an issue. Like, come on, because uh, I'm not working with a whole lot of space here. Like, like I don't have. I should have more rice fields than this, basically. Trixie, dang, without any effort in only half of your town, you almost hit my number. <laughs> yeah, I'm- I, Juxies, I'm not even putting that much effort in this. This is what I call winging it. But we'll see. We'll see how it actually works out. It doesn't always work out how you think it will. But just by looking at my walnut fishing, it looks like it's gonna use them all. Look, three sushi boats already. Two thousand seaweed. That doesn't sound like a whole lot. Two thousand. For a hundred and seventy five sushi boats, I would need two thousand one hundred seaweed. Uh, the issue would be that I don't have enough seaweed farmers. So I guess these slots could be seaweed farmers. Clearly seaweed farms are not the issue. Like there's... They're waiting to be picked. Gotta be the seaweed farmer. Well... Then I have a seaweed farmer falling asleep. So what is it? Oh yeah, the seaweed farmers are falling asleep. Huh. Do I actually need another seaweed farm? Also, the food mix is waiting on worms. Oh, it is possible that I need another tractor. That's true. That might actually be true. I kind of thought that would happen. Build the witch shed. Yeah, because they're not picking up the worms anymore because they are too busy with the uh, rice fields. They're not even picking up wasabi anymore. Okay, good to know. Um, I'm either going to get rid of an aquaculturist house or a fisherman house. How are my fishermen doing? They seem to go to sleep. So I can get rid of one fisherman house, not that one. Uh, I can get rid of this one. Build a fourth tractor. I, I kind of thought that was going to be the case. I knew I needed at least three. So a fourth tractor, I have the lumber, I can make the energy no problem. I will need wood. Which means I need my hatchet hank. And I'll need trees. I can replace the ones that have 10 water. Because, uh, I mean, I can easily replace those. I need 10 water to be built. Put in some trees. You know, maybe I only needed two trees, but... Oh, I'll put in some oak trees too. Just in case. So 
a lot of salmon, so I need more uh, white rice. That's a lot of roe, actually. Why has so much roe? Too much seaweed? Hmm. Hmm, <laughs> super wingy it here, says Bukari. Crazy kitten, kitty miner. Watching this makes me want to go play, but I haven't played since February. Wow, it's been months. Bukari, my top four Champions Arena characters, adds up to 447 perception. Just three points to go for level three mayhem exploring. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just can't get that into my CGW build. Are you paying more attention to your Champions Arena or what? Ninety sushi boats. That's not bad. Like ninety plus the ninety I'll get over here. That's one hundred eighty. What am I at right now? Four hours in, rank eighteenth. You know, it would be a miracle if I even get top one hundred on this. To be honest, it would be a miracle because I didn't practice. I mean, I I'll get top two two five for sure, even with this low effort. It would be nice to get top one hundred, but we'll see. Sorry, I'm doing my common ground world build, but it's boring. Haha, <laughs> I see. Maybe I'll aim for like 150 boats per hour. See, so salmon's at 340. Oh, I only need 300 salmon. Okay. Yeah, so I don't need any more wild net fishing for what I'm trying to do. I would need 1500 husk rice. I don't know if I can get 1500 though. I made too much oak wood. Okay, farm tractors are getting built. What? building can I make? Rice vendor is going to be a problem. It's consuming way too much white rice. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. I think I have a solution and that involves moving one of these really far away where it would take a long time for them to actually make the rice vinegar. Let me go ahead and get rid of this. I don't need any more brine. I apparently am good with four shrimp farms. I don't need more. 550 shrimp is more than what I need. No, actually, it's about what I need for 100 40, I guess.
Hmm. Actually, that doesn't make sense. How am I making 350? How am I making 350 fish chum if I'm making 550 shrimp? What? So I'll make a sauce facility here and I'll get rid of this one right here. I'm gonna stop crafting with that one. Because I need to balance out my rice vinegar. It's eating up way too much white rice. Yeah, they're just waiting on white rice. Yikes. Fifteen sushi boats. I almost made it to twenty-five. Yikes! Like that's a lot of rice vinegar. Also, you know what? Let me just stop making rice vinegar. I'm I'm gonna have to sell some rice vinegar though. Yeah, that's fine. I'll I'll sell rice vinegar. I'm not sure what I'll do with this spot here. Wasabi, maybe? No. Maybe, maybe I can put a wasabi field here. Damn, Petrov, hello. Did they add competitions in Common Ground? Um, the the competitions are the same that they've always been. Uh, the the game has been rebranded rebranded to Common Ground World. There are competitions. They are exactly the same as they have been the past couple months. And we are having a competition today for the Anything Goes Meta. Which happens to be like sushi boats because that's what gives the most points. Okay, so that got done. Did I use up all my rice vinegar? Pretty much. So before I refresh all this, let me take a look. Uh, I'll go ahead and put sushi boats on auto sell. 25. I will put energy at 25 just in case I mess up and leave it crafting. Uh, I'll do everything else in a moment. Damn, 46 salmon.
Yikes. <laughs> uh, pretend I didn't do that, guys. You saw nothing. Let me reload the game. <laughs> I accidentally clicked the wrong button. <laughs> I meant to go on auto, so. Need to add a uh, seaweed on auto cell. You know what? I already drank all my water. Sugarcane 25. Yeah, you did not see anything. That never happened. Wait, do I even need more wood? Not right now. I don't know what else I'm gonna build. Let me go back to the rice fields. Oh yeah, um, so this one's gonna be making rice vinegar, and so is this one. And that should get me about 150 per hour. I don't need this one. I guess this could be wasabi, because I'm not really sure what else to put there. I mean, I could put like a fisherman house. I don't need a, another fisherman house, so they're already falling asleep on me. And two wasabi farms here means I don't need this one. Which means I could move my worm farm closer. Move it here and I can have something. I can have another rice field here. I am going to need wood for that. Benji, hello, hello. I'm kind of late, but at least it's first time I have the plan ready and don't go blind in the competition. Well, that's good. That's going to be a good advantage. And hello, Benji. Bukari, two decorated cake sales. And I'm in 55th place, hoping to finish top 400. Cool. Still waiting on my first... Right? My first sushi boat set? Or did I already make a set? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. But I'm almost there. Let me go ahead and remove this. I'll put a... There's going to be a rice field, but I'll put a tree farm for the time being. Also, that's a lot of row. You know, I really, I don't think I even need eight fish farms. I probably only needed six. This won't tell me much. 300 row. I need like, yeah, I pretty much need like 300 row. So I guess that's right.
It's fine. I'll, I'll overproduce row, I, I suppose. What is my eel at then? 150? No, that makes sense, actually. That's fine. My worms is supposed to be at 150, though, for that to be possible. So hopefully that is the case. Benji was doing 260 sushi, but I can improve. But the aquaculture department's NFT also, so I should improve a bit. Yeah, that's going to help out. That's a very nice rate, by the way. I don't think I could even do that. Why all of a sudden the seaweed is much higher than it was before? I did sell some sushi boats, by the way. Doesn't move me up much. I'm right next to homeboy. My production rate for worms is really... It's bad right now. Like, it should be higher. It should be like 150. I did add a fourth tractor. I'm wondering if I'll need a fifth. Because they're not picking them up. Or they take a while to pick them up. Uh, what do you guys think? Should I add a fifth tractor? See, my fisherman house is... My fishermen workers fall asleep still. Like, they don't really have to do much. Their job is easy. So I could get rid of this one that's farther away. I feel like they should be picking these up quicker. These are all waiting on eel. That's because they're waiting on worms. An eel nigiri or salmon nigiri. I'm probably going to need another mixing set. It's good that I'm getting a lot of husk rice, but if I'm still not making enough white rice, it's because I need another mixing tent. I have an idea of how to add one right here. White rice, well it says 600, plus rice 1,500, that's right. What What is white rice supposed to be? Supposed to be 5, no 600. Yeah, it's supposed to be 600, that's right. I 
Actually, yeah, I have enough white rice. What is the issue? Do I need another sushi restaurant? All right, one thing's for sure, I need another tractor. That is for sure now, because they're not picking up the worms still. Hundred and seventy rice vinegar, that's still kind of too much. I would like to get it down to like 150. Ah, but it's better than what it was making before. It was making way too much before. Fish chum makes more sense now. MYP SPM uh, is asking what my rate's going to be. I didn't practice this. I'm just looking at numbers right now. Technically, I could make 150 sushi boats per hour pretty like it should be doable if i balance this well enough and we'll see if i get to if i can get it to that point uh looking over things i might need another sushi restaurant for salmon nigiri because they gotta walk quite a distance for the white rice since they're farther away another shrimp farm so a total of five shrimp farms i could push this back farther away oh so i can balance out the rice vinegar a little better this is already the rice fields are good but i will probably add another rice field anyways even if i overproduce it Oh, and another mixing tent making white rice. But I don't really need to. Look at my white rice. It's fine. I really don't need another mixing tent making white rice. That's not good. My storehouse is almost full. Yikes, my storehouse is full. And I can't sell anything. I would have to get rid of my lumber storage, and I don't want to do that yet. Uh... Can I sell some white rice? Okay, cool. All right, I'm going to do something. I can't just sit here and keep watching it. I'm moving the silo over one spot. Shrimp farm here. 
and probably here I'm gonna move the sauce facility farther away. I need another sushi restaurant that's... Well, let's see. One, two, three, four. Where can I add another sushi restaurant? I guess I could do it here. <laughs> that would leave me with only three fishermen houses. Uh, seems like such a low amount. Well, I'm gonna give it a shot. So yeah, I will make another sushi restaurant in that spot. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four. I want to make it five shrimp farms, so I'll put the fifth one here. I want to move this sauce facility a little farther away. Right here, probably at most. It seems kind of silly of me to just rebuild it just to move it to more spots. But I think it would make more sense if I do this. I could even move it here. Like, I could move it all the way to the end. Yeah, let me move it all the way to the end. Go ahead and put salmon on auto sell. 30. I'll put a bunch of things on auto sell. I need to make a well so I can make those shrimp farms faster. Alright, time for some tweaking. Hey, it says 110 sushi boats, that's actually not bad. Could have been worse. Juxies, they need water, don't forget that. Um, You're right. You're right. You are completely right. I can't actually put it there. Because they need to water. I could put it here. Thank you, Juxies. Thank you. You are completely right. So at, at 
at most I could just put it here. That's the farthest I could put it away. That was uh, my idea before I wanted to move it over here. So I shouldn't have done that. Good thing is I still have spare lumber. So it's gonna use lumber on this. Yeah, it already did. Gonna use 10 more lumber on that. All right. Gonna be one, two, three, four, five shrimp farms. If I need to make another tent, I can make another tent here for fish chum if I need to. Um, I'm still not sure if I do. I don't think so. making too much stuff. I'm gonna stop making rice vinegar. I don't think I can do anything else. I just have to wait for this stuff to build. Alright. So I'm going to keep streaming for about half an hour more and then that's going to be it. Uh, whatever I get done past that point, I'm, I'll probably just leave it. And we'll see how many sushi boats it actually makes. Because at the moment it seems like it should make at least 100 per hour. A hundred fifty an hour would be preferred, obviously. Plus my wine bottles, that's about two hundred forty per hour in stars. That seems really good. Actually, it seems better than what what I was predicting it would do. got built so I'll go ahead and get rid of that Shrimp farm right here gonna be five of them Dupuka, are you going to keep your bottles? Yes, that's the plan for this competition. I am going to keep the bottles. I did the math. All these wine bottles gives me the same amount of stars as 90 sushi boats per hour. So you see how it says I'm supposedly making 110. You can add 90 to that because of the wine bottles. I'm pretty much making 200 sushi boats per hour worth of points.
So this is going to be a unique build. I don't know if anybody else has done this before. Because I'm probably the only person who has the corrupted stands, these three corrupted stands, and doesn't have a seaweed stand. Because <laughs> I ended up selling mine. I guess I don't need another mix in time making white rice. I'm already making what I need to be making. Storehouse is about to get full again. Do I need lumber for anything else? Oh, this one got built, so that's going to make a uh, salmon nigiri. So I got four of them making salmon nigiri, three making eel nigiri, three making sushi boats. Other than the mixing tent, I don't think I need anything else that needs uh, lumber. Juxi selling Kage would make you have a seaweed sand. You're right. Yes, I could have two seaweed sands if I sold Kage. <laughs> I don't think I want to do that though. I could probably get the new Halloween NFTs if I did that. I'm just trying to weigh sushi boats. I cannot think of anything else that I use lumber. And uh, I'm still on the fence with the extra mixing tent. I do the math in my head and I just, I don't need it. They're waiting on fish chum, but the fish chum is waiting on shrimp because I got rid of one of my shrimp farms. Oh, screw it. I'm getting rid of the lumber, um, so that's probably it for the lumber then. We can build the regular storehouse. I don't need any more seaweed farmers because sometimes one will go to sleep. I 
think it's the same for aquaculturists although i might be wrong i could maybe make one more aquaculturist since i'll have five shrimp farms in a moment i should be okay with three fishermen houses if not i can add one more back somewhere And yeah, that's pretty, pretty much it. Not much more I can change. You know, Jake Seeds, I was uh, tempted to get Miko cause, for Champions Arena. Because then I could assemble the perfect team. Or what I call the dream team. I don't know. It would be Zafrina, Miko, Vera, and Barbara. All legendaries. The only NFT one would be Miko, because uh, I already have Zafrina, Barbara. I can just about already get Vera. I just need to buy one more set of shards. But I don't want to spend the money on that. Plus, I don't think it's necessary. I'm, pretty, I'm already top fifteen with the team I have. Ooh, 150 worms per hour. That's good. I might actually need one more wasabi farm. I could just add it here. It doesn't even have to be a red timer. Why Miko? Because um, Miko with Vera pretty much make like a permanent freeze team. Miko starts the battle with all the enemies slowed down. Vera will have a 100% chance to freeze an enemy that's slowed down. So put them together, the entire enemy gets frozen. So long as you can go first, which if you have the right setup, you can go first. Miko will slow down the enemy team and then you want uh, Barbara since she has the highest speed. 
and yeah you you can have your whole team go first and then the enemy team gets frozen so you get another turn freeze them again you get another turn you get the point right it's pretty much near unstoppable unless you have somebody uh on the enemy team with uh an ability that prevents CC or crowd control. But right now there's not like a really good champion that can do that as far as I know. I can do something similar without Miko. Like Zafrina has a 33% chance to slow down an enemy. So um, Vera can still freeze those. Also, the, the enemy doesn't have to be slowed down for Vera to actually trigger the freeze. It just guarantees it. If the enemy is not slowed down, I think it's a 40% chance. But then she has accuracy. So it's actually a higher than 40% chance. Yeah, Vera has a 100% chance to freeze the enemy if they have a debuff speed down. That's correct. And I've seen it in action, Juxi. Some of the people in the top 10, they have that exact same setup. Whenever I go against them, my entire team gets frozen and I lose. I haven't won against that team yet. Got one of my shrimp farms back. Oh, cool. So I'll have five shrimp farms now. Should have less of an issue with fish chum, which means more salmon, which means more salmon and giri. Uh, eel is still kind of low. What's the issue with eel? It's not row. It's the worm shouldn't be an issue either. At least not anymore. I guess the issue is just wasabi. Alright, let's uh, revert this back to normal. Rice fields. I am going to get rid of this road because I don't think I need it. And I can add a wasabi farm here. It's going to be on a yellow timer because it only has two shade. But it should give me the rest of the wasabi I need to get 150 eel for the 150 sushi boats that I'm trying to get or just around there. Weird, you can see like the bottom of the map. See? Oh. Yeah, so that should fix Yonigiri. Oh yeah, I turned off rice vinegar. I guess I could turn that back on now. This one and this one.
don't need that and i i don't know if i need this so i can add like two buildings i can add one here and one here but what should i even make at this point not really sure Like, I could add another fisherman house if, if I do need one. I don't know if I do. I'm going to let it run for like 10 minutes and then I'll see. But I'm only going to stream for like 20 more minutes. I'm going to have to reset the production monitor for it to, you know, give me an accurate production rate. So, let me scroll through here. Oh, I don't need to make any more energy, that's right. As far as I know. Okay, reset. Alright, it's not going to be accurate, but I got to let it run for 10 minutes. If I make any last minute tweaks, like I'm just going to make the building and then that's it. Well, obviously, I'll come back later off stream and actually see if it's working. But I am happy with what I got done here. None of this was planned out. I uh, I made this on the visualizer while I was streaming. You can see. Well, the wine bottle rush, I, I already have that pretty much memorized. But everything else, I made it on stream. Uh, oh, I didn't make the changes here so they don't look like my actual build. This was the, the general idea. That's usually how I make the the no NFT required builds as well. Just make an idea then change stuff up while I'm building it and then change it up on the visualizer. Trixies, you can do that with the rock guy too. I forget his name. Huh. What rock guy? Garb? <laughs> Bukari, I'm doing about 14 decorated cakes per hour and it's a hot mess. I think I'll leave it there and go do a little mowing. Well, I, I still have some light. Oh. 14 decorated cakes. Yeah, that's not uh, that competitive. Hey, uh, what's your nationality? I am... Hispanic, um, American, I suppose. Hispanic American. I'm American. Hispanic descendants. Bukari, my rank is 57. Sweet. I guess I'm gonna have you beat there, Bukari. I, I am probably gonna be a higher rank than you. All right, give this a couple minutes.
I was writing an announcement for uh, my Champions Arena guild. Uh, Bitbender also posted something for Champions Arena, so I'm going to read it real quick. Uh, it's about the Do Not Buy NFT issue. We are happy to announce that anybody who purchased one of these NFTs before the Ethereum block height, uh, and it puts the Ethereum block height, will receive an NFT of the hero you thought you were purchasing dropped directly to your wallet on Gala Chain. This will be a full NFT, not just a database back champion. That is good. Justice was made for those people who bought before the issue happened. And I'm not going to go into that whole issue on this stream. Because uh, that's a, it's a, it's a topic that will take a couple minutes to actually talk about. <laughs> uh, let's see. These NFTs will be sent directly to the Gala Chain address associated with the account. You don't need to do anything to receive the champion. But we request that if you have the do not buy NFTs that you send them to the burn address. Customer support will send you. Okay, cool. I hope people are happy with that solution because some people bought legendary champions really cheap like at third or even half yeah half the price a third of the price of what they cost they bought them really cheap off somebody who pretty much found an exploit and they're actually going to keep the champions it's official only before they were labeled as do not buy if somebody bought the NFT after it was labeled as do not buy, they are screwed as far as I can tell because they're not going to get anything back. Now, the issue lies with some people accidentally buying those NFTs before or after they were marked as do not buy. Some people had offers on these NFTs. They were sold after the fact. Those people might have been screwed over by this. I'd be interested to see what happens there. I do want to send a message to Burgundy to see if he has been affected by this or not. Yeah, you know how some legendary, some of those legendary NFTs like Vera and Kristoff, they were, they pretty much cost a thousand two hundred dollars to mint. Some people bought them for four hundred or five hundred dollars from this exploiter that put them on OpenSea. So some people got a really good deal on those. They really, really did. But the people who bought them after they were marked do not buy. I'm pretty sure they got screwed over now. So let's take a look at what's going on here after 10 minutes. Worms is over 150. Ooh, Sushi Boats is 156. That's great. 160? You mean my tweaks worked? I did things right? It's a miracle. <laughs> Eel 157. That's right. Okay, 150. Wait a minute. Why is Fish Chum 330? No, wait. Shrimp is... Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Shrimp is 660. Uh, 670. Fish Chum's 335. Okay, that makes sense. My bad. 
EO, uh, okay, EO went up to 160. Food mix, 160, that makes sense. Uh, 1,700. Husk rice. Um, 180 rice vinegar. Hey, I, I tried to lower it. I guess that's as good as it's going to get. It's fine. It's going to overproduce rice vinegar very slowly. Bro at 340. Yeah, that makes sense. I need it to be at 320. Salmon 320. Wow, that's pretty much perfect on the spot. Salmon nigiri 310. Yep. Seaweed's overproducing. That's fine. Uh, Sugarcane's overproducing a little bit. That's fine. Was so okay. Hmm. Wasabi is one thing that might cause my sushi boats to drop to 150 because technically I should only be making 150 wasabi per hour, not 160. I don't really have a good solution for that. What I could do is move my worm farm over here, this spot. Make the wasabi farm here. Actually, yeah, I'm going to have to do that. I'm uh, going to make one more tweak, guys. I looked at it over everything. I can reduce my worms a, a tiny bit. And make the wasabi farm over here. I need to have three wasabi farms on green craft timer. Which means I can get rid of this one. Um, I, I can put the paper up back uh, as an NFT. I'm going to need one wood, huh? One more wood. Yeah. I'm gonna need one wood. This will work great. Uh, I'll make 150 sushi boats per hour, maybe even 160. This went beyond my expecta expectations. I need one or two more wood for this uh, worm farm. Cool. They got lucky, Juxies, but they had to wait a whole month for this news. But yeah, in the end, they got lucky, so. No way they're sending NFTs to those guys who bought legendaries for, I don't know, 200 bucks. Send their money back. No, get a $1,300. <laughs> I guess there's somebody that's upset about the news because, uh... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Because <laughs> they missed out on a good deal, right? If, when you, Whenever you miss out on a good deal, you don't feel too happy about the news. That should fix my wasabi issue. So I have three of them. I hope I didn't make things worse. Like now that my uh maybe my tractors have more work to do. I'm not exactly sure. I'll just have to pay attention to that later. Don't tell me. I hope I don't need more than two storehouses. I really hope not. I know there's a lot of items, like, if I need more than two storehouses, I'm not even sure where I would, I guess I could put the other storehouse here. Then I would need to put the fisherman house somewhere else. Yeah, make one more fisherman house then. Almost done. I don't need no more wind pumps. Because I might need to make a third storehouse better safe than sorry. I was just trying to put a witch up there. Need my tree. I'll make the storehouse here and hopefully they don't put stuff on that storehouse. I want them to put the the 
the products in these two storehouses. This storehouse is just going to be the backup one in case these two are full. Dayan, I have a bunch of NFTs I need to sell, but it's so complicated putting them on OpenSea. I think I need to create a MetaMask account. Yeah, it is. And then you got to pay the, the uh, creator fees, so you end up losing some money. Seems like three fishermen houses can take care of all the fishing needs, so yeah, I should be able to get rid of this one. I do not want this to fail just because I didn't put it in a third storehouse. That would be so sad. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Pave this road. Right, I never paved it. It's not a big deal. In fact, I even have another paved road NFT that I could put there. I, I, yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and do that. So. There, problem solved. I could have done I could have just put the wasabi farm here oh I didn't even think of that yeah I didn't even have to put it over here I could have just put it over here oh wow I don't know what to do with, with this spot. I should be done. Well, I have another Hey, road and FC, I guess I could put it here. Five hours in, and it's done. Winging it. Wine bottle, sushi, boats, hybrid type of build. Should be able to do 160 per hour. And that's more than what I thought this was going to be able to do. And just a, just sushi boats. Uh, let me actually do the exact math here uh, with the wine bottles. Because I think I'm getting pretty much 2,800 wine bottles per hour. It's uh, 126 points per... 
Okay. Um, just double checking on the town star playbook. Three hundred fifty two thousand eight hundred stars. Yes, ninety two sushi boats worth of wine bottles. I ran it to ninety. So yeah, um, 250 sushi boats worth of stars every hour. About 960,000 stars per hour. Almost a million stars per hour. Impressive. Hope it actually sticks. You know, I could possibly even get top 100 with this. I'm, I'm really not sure. It just depends on how many people who are actually using seaweed stands efficiently enough to uh make over 250 per hour just depends on that really and i only had to make two nukes and i ended up with so much cash i don't know what to do with it uh this storehouse should be empty almost all the time it's just my emergency backup storehouse i only need the one epic seafood warehouse this should just carry seaweed Silo, I have two empty spots. I guess I could put my oopsie NFT. Hope it doesn't break my game. I can make more wasabi, but there's literally no point. Four more sugar cane, but once again, no points. I could put my compost facility. <laughs> but yeah, that, that doesn't really help me, but I could, I guess. Let's see. Actually, does it even work on wasabi? I don't know. You know what? I don't think the compost facility works on wasabi. I'll leave it there just cause, but I don't think it actually does anything. Need to take a screenshot. I, I don't plan on making any more changes to this off stream, so that's probably it. I'm glad I got it finished. Finally, paid road NFT been used, I know, right? Yeah. Alright, well as usual, I'm gonna, later tonight, I will post an update on what my actual rate is. You know, assuming for some reason this is different and it ends up being 150 or 140 or something. I'll post the rate, yeah, I'll post my actual rate on the Discord. Uh, join my Discord if you haven't, links in the description of the video, of the stream. And that's pretty much it, I <laughs> played this for pretty much 5 hours, got this done. I'm looking more forward to a competition where we don't have to do fishing related stuff, to be honest. Not a big fan of the fishing stuff just because I don't have the seaweed stand, which is fine. I'll still do it. But, you know, I'd rather do jewelry because, hey, I have fam the Panner family. So there you go. Um, but yeah, that's it for this one. I hope everybody does well in the competition. Uh, make sure to get your sleep. Don't stress out too much. Don't stay up all night doing this. It's probably not a good idea. <laughs> And yeah, remember to have fun. So appreciate everybody watching. Uh, as always, appreciate your support. Thank you so much. And until next time, bye-bye.